Tom Thompson was born in Claremont, Ontario, and his family moved to Owen Sound when he was a kid. He loved fishing and he loved the outdoors and nature and tried to learn as much as he could about the fauna and the flora throughout that region of Southern Ontario. Tom Thompson ended up moving to Seattle where his brother ran a business school and he started his life as a commercial designer. Then he moved back to Toronto and fatefully ended up at the Grip Limited Studio. While working at Grip Limited Studio, he came under the direction of J.E.H. McDonald. This was an extremely important meeting of two like-minded men. He saw some talent in Thompson, McDonald that is, and encouraged Tom to pick up a paintbrush and come out and do sketching on weekend trips. This led to Tom really starting to explore painting and enjoy painting. And then Tom Thompson went to Algonquin Park in the summer of 1912. Taking the information he had learned from McDonald and his fellow friends, he then began to paint the, the sketches that are now known as the famous, famous Tom Thompson panels. And when he brought those paintings back to the studio to show his friends at the end of the summer, it was the Eureka moment. It was the discovery of a new form of Canadian art and a new form of subject matter that was uniquely Canadian that could not be painted anywhere else that made a statement about Canada. And that was the key to the eventual foundation of the forming of the Group of Seven. Tom Thompson's use of color is unbelievable. It is spectacular. It is mind-boggling. I tend to think that he saw the world like a digital camera. And when you look at his work, you can see his ability to pick out small bits of color and really nail it and take the small bit of color and use it in a flourishing way on the canvas. His work was so creative and so expressive that he changed the way all his friends painted forever. Tom Thompson died mysteriously in Algonquin Park on Canoe Lake. And to this day, his death is a bit of a mystery. No one really knows how or what actually happened to Tom and why he died. But the incredible thing is that Thompson only painted for five years. He began at the age of 35 and lived only till he was 40. So in those five years, he managed to create a statement that would forever be known as the quintessential Canadian art.